hey you guys welcome back to my channel so i am in the bathroom right now we are going to be as you can see by the title we are going to be retouching these roots it's been i guess over a month now they're definitely not four weeks they're definitely like six to seven weeks roots and i just worked out so i'm a little out of breath <laughs> So as you can see, I have the routage going on right here. I have a little bit of banding, but I'm not too like crazy about making my hair like perfectly that one shade of blonde. Like I'm not that like anal about it. And like, I don't mind if it's a little like a tiny bit off in some areas because it is what it is. You can always fix it later. And honestly, I'm just scared to keep bleaching like the mid lens and it's gonna snap all that hair off at the bottom so personally i don't really mind it to look a little different in some more parts i don't even feel like it's that dramatic but <laughs> looking at it right now from the back it does have this little band but that's not the issue for today the issue is these dark roots so i'm going to show you guys what i have down here i have a couple of things I have a brush, I have some gloves, I have a mixing bowl, I have 30 volume developer, and I have some scrunchies and I have two more right here because we are going to be uh, sectioning my hair in fours. So I'm going to sit you guys down here and this doesn't have to be perfect. I kind of just, you know, do my best. Um, so I'm just going to basically go behind the ear make like a section like that if you can see that great my dog is like eating shit he shouldn't perfect uh you could also use clips as well uh i couldn't find any but all right either way it all works i just like to do little space buns so my ends aren't sticking out and try to point those little end parts to the top like so that actually feels really tight so this is our well let me do one more section so it looks more presentable to show you So I have my little puppy here, Bentley. He's a little baby, but he's being very bad and he's just eating anything off the ground. It's just his puppy phase, but sometimes he eats stuff that he shouldn't or I don't catch it fast enough or he goes under things and finds it. So I'm going to be right back. I'm going to put him away and be right back. You kind of are working with it like that you I have my two front sections and look at how much roots there are I feel like it's even longer in the back <laughs> but we will get through this and we will get it done so I'm I am gonna be showing you guys how I mix everything up it's really 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 simple before you start mixing anything up do wear some gloves so I have some gloves because with me, when I work with bleach and I, even if I get a little bit on my skin, it starts itching and I just feel like it's doing weird stuff to my skin and um, just wear gloves. It's just easier that way. And that's that. I don't like my bleach sitting too long. I really just like to, um, oh yeah, let me show you what bleach I'm using. But I really like to mix up one batch, like just depending on what I'm doing. If I'm doing my whole head, I'll mix more. But since I'm just doing a root touch up, I'm just going to start with one because I think I'll probably need about like two scoops. But 
I'll mix in a newer, fresher batch because I heard that bleach actually like doesn't, like it swells up and then it kind of stops working if it's just sitting there. So I don't want to do that. I'm not, I'm not going to waste my product and do all of that. So the bleach that I have, that I use to get this whole hair kind of deal right now, uh, I am using the Blonde Brilliance, the Ultimate Blonde Experience Express Level 9. This is what it looks like, you guys. Got it from Sally's. This big tub was, I think, around like $25 to $30. I don't know. But well worth it. I got the little bo the bottle, their little long skinny bottle. But I obviously finished it when I did my whole head. So, But I really do like this bleach. I have tried other bleaches like Prism Lights. And I've tried uh, the regular Quick Blue one. I've tried the BMW one. And I don't really like the BMW one. I feel like it doesn't really lift my hair evenly. Uh, this one, it lifts it really evenly. Like it's only gonna give you one shade. It's not gonna have catchies and all that going on in there. So I really appreciate it. So we're gonna get the hair nice and combed. And I do have this one. So once, you know, I've done a certain section, we're gonna let it go. But yeah. I also have a mirror behind me so I can see what I'm doing, you guys. Cause, uh, girl. <laughs> oh, it's, I always kind of trip out cause I'm like, wait a minute, like what am I doing? I can't see. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I actually mixed in more developer. Let me just mix this. It's actually one and a half ratio, you guys. I just <laughs> re-read re it. And yeah, this is gonna be way too watery. So. So we're gonna have to put in a, yeah, it's way runny. So we're gonna put in a little bit more bleach. I'm sorry that you guys can't see this. I just don't have like a good camera set up, but you know the drill. I mean, it's just mixing. So I'm going to get in a little bit more up in here. Um, probably like, so if I did two, I should do like half of bleach. And, uh. It should kind of be like this kind of like kind of runny but not runny consistency going on so yeah and the leave-in time for me you guys i have oh my god i'm like literally like just breathing this in it smells really bad so make sure you have a door open or something but for me, for my dark, like, brown, I think I'm probably, like, a level two to maybe three, but probably a level two. Uh, I have to leave this in for at least 40 to 45 minutes. If I wash it out in 30 minutes, I get, like, orange, blonde, and I don't like that. So, I just leave it in for, like, 45 minutes. Because when you bleach your hair and you know what your hair needs, then you kind of get, like, okay, I know how long to leave it on for and how long not to leave it on for after you realize what your hair needs are so it's gonna once it's all mixed up it's, it should look like this it should be like kind of runny but not like runny runny but a little because it is in a swell so yeah so now what we're gonna do is we are going to start on the top i like to start on the top but oh okay I'm gonna kind of get started and then come back to you guys, so update. Uh, hopefully it's not so echoing here, I feel like it is, but hopefully it's not. But you guys, so I'm gonna open the door because I'm kind of probably not gonna, don't wanna pass out. Anyways, you guys, I had to do the back of my head off camera. It was just impossible to like find a good angle where you guys could even see anything. I just knew it wasn't gonna work out, so. I was like, okay, you know what? I need to focus on getting this done precisely. So that's what I did. So the back of the head is done. It is fully saturated. 
I did go through when I was done with everything I did like lift out every section to just make sure that if I didn't miss something I can catch it right now and there were some spots that I didn't miss because the back of your head is so complicated especially when you're doing it by yourself so just take your time if it helps you can also just do half of your head and then do the rest uh the top later but I don't really do that because I mean I've done this before so it's fine but yeah, that's what the back looks like. Um, if you want to see from this point of view, I don't think you can see that, but let me show you on this mirror. So yeah, this is kind of what it's looking like. Lift it up and I have it tied. I have my lens tied because I don't want bleach touching or getting on it. So I'm, I am going to show you guys how I do the front. I feel like um, that's going to be a little bit easier. I'm going to put it right here just because I'm pretty good with the front of my hair than I am with the back of my hair. So I ran out of bleach. So one scoop was enough to do the back of my head. So two scoops would do my full head. So I'm going to take out one of these buns, obviously. <laughs> And we're just gonna get to it. We the way I do my roots is I do the perimeters first. Um, you know when you dye your hair and you haven't like dyed it in like a month or so, so you kind of forget like your movement. Well, that's kind of what happened to me just right now. So I was just kind of struggling with the back. Like the first section was just so harsh for me, but we got it going. So first, I'm just gonna kind of go over right here, the perimeter. I feel like this helps so much because you just know what you're doing at this point. The front is really easy for me to do, like, and I can also show you guys. So then I'm just going to go along very gently, avoiding that blonde area. I'm just going to get rid of this bleach first before I mix a new batch. I'm just going to get to the root touch and boom. Okay, so I did this perimeter, the front perimeter, and then I'm going to just kind of lift my hair up. You can also comb your hair if you want. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to kind of lift it up, get the baby hairs away. But you do want to do your baby hairs as well because it all needs to match, <laughs> you know? So I'm gonna get behind this ear real quick. Especially with the front of your hair, I definitely recommend doing like your whole perimeter first. So you know, all right, it's not gonna be that fucked up. Cause trust me, as soon as you miss one of these little pieces, it just ruins the whole look. So I do the perimeter the section and i feel like as soon as you do this um the hair sections better as well i don't know i feel like when i don't do this step and i'm just kind of like going by section by section i miss all of this or like i miss some of it or something happens so i'm gonna make sure that i have the back of my head covered as well it looks like it is so we're just gonna go in just kind of separating my fingers and then my hair got tangled with the space buns up here it did it did you could also use your fingers to section it's not that bad so as you can see I have the roots going and we're rolling it's so easy to do the front of your head than it is the back. Good lord. That's why I always start in the back because I know I'm going to take longer. Because if I start in the front, 
this shit is gonna be so light and I don't wanna damage it for that long. So I'd rather take my time with the back and then, you know, go into the front. Cause the front of your hair is kind of thinner. I feel like it processes a little bit faster and all that. Um, Cause there is heat on the back of your head as well. But I feel like the, it's kind of more hair in the back and the nape and all that. So I just tend to do this side first, lay it over. And honey, we're going to town. So pretty much this is the, you know, the process. Okay, you guys, so we got another section down and boom. My dog like totally freaks out with like any noise. Any... Stop! Any noise or any like car pulling up or like the neighbors coming home. He like barks at everything, you guys. He's a little watch man. So yeah, we're, we're working, baby. We're working and we're getting through. And we're being thorough. We're taking our time. So I know I went through pretty much thoroughly after every section. I just want to make sure that I got the perimeter from the back. I kind of see a spot that I missed. So we're going to go back in. I mean, that she did a good job. So I'm going to take this last section out, you guys. So exciting and comb it because like i said the little space buns they kind of tangled my hair a little bit and even though it looks pretty lifted already i know it's not done because usually you guys so i'm gonna comb everything to the front right now and there's like a section here that's already out so i'm just gonna have to bleach it all anyways so who cares Look, there's like this whole section that got missed. So I'm gonna have to do that right now. Perimeter.
really making sure I get this little corner right here. Because, you guys, I forgot last time and it was just so bad. Like, you could just totally see it. So I'm officially done with my hair as you can see. Uh, I didn't cover the back of it because I know it's been on the longest and I didn't want to risk getting like bleach on any of this. So I was just like, you know what, let me just do the top top and <laughs> whatever. So I'm going to leave this on for like 30 minutes. I'm going to keep checking on it. I want to lift it up right now. So as you can see, uh, this was the section I did last. This was like the second to last. So the side's already kind of getting yellow. I'm just waiting on this side. But always with bleach, you guys, it's gonna look light when it's on, but when you wash it, it's gonna be darker. So we we want that pale yellow banana with the bleach on, and then we I know that it's light enough. Right now, it's not. <laughs> like at all it is not light enough at all right now it is still processing because oh my god it is still processing because like it's been it took me like probably like 30 to 40 minutes to apply it on my whole head so plus then you know waiting for it to get even and everything so we're just gonna keep an eye on it i will update you guys once i wash my hair and i will show you guys the results and hopefully they're good <laughs> wish me luck wish me luck you guys okay you guys so it is the next morning and this is how the roots turned out this right here was already here i'm not too worried about that but everything came out really good really even and nice and yellow, I think. Uh, my last steps, I'm not gonna be toning it with like a natural toner because I feel like it's not that like brassy or anything. I don't think I need to put more developer and like pull more pigment out because honestly, it's pretty already like light. I'm yeah. just gonna get some, what? Anyways, what? so I'm not gonna tone it like with the natural like toner or anything because I don't want to damage my hair more like the lengths of my hair I feel like it's just gonna get really dry if I did that so I'm gonna put some hair mask in here that's what I recommend you guys doing if you guys are doing the same thing and I'm probably just gonna get a purple shampoo if I really feel like it's that necessary but I do know that as you wash your hair it does kind of like take some of the unevenness out over time so I'm basically just gonna be using some purple shampoo and hair mask like maybe mix it in with the hair mask and then use the purple shampoo and it should be good to go there is a little cat here making some noise you can see her right over there this canopy fell because it was really windy one of these days so it's all fucked up but yeah so i just wanted to let you guys know the results came out really nice i really do like it at home diy do it yourself <laughs> so i will see you guys in my next video thank you for watching leave a comment if you guys have any questions or 
um, but I'm not a professional I'm just you know experimenting in my own hair so